One of the most moving documentaries in our Canada Heart and Soul series is Home and Native Land. It is a visual celebration of the beauty of this country as a new young generation of Aboriginal men and women are learning to appreciate. Enter in to this segment. Well, you know, the Cree people have lived here for thousands of years, uh, hunting, fishing, trapping as a way of life. Ask any elder about uh, their experiences and their memories of the land, they will tell you uh, that every bend of the river has a story to tell. Every valley, every mountain, every landscape on the land has something to give of what happened back in, in the old days. So the land has everything to do with the life of our people. It's, it's the way it's been for thousands of years. With their identity so closely tied to the land, it became clear to Kenny Blacksmith what kind of solution was needed to deal with the social issues that Aboriginal youth were facing. The Government of Canada sincerely apologizes and asks the forgiveness of the Aboriginal peoples of this country for failing them so profoundly. After the Canadian government officially apologized in 2008 for the abuses Indigenous people suffered in its residential schools, Kenny knew it was time for healing. He met with various leaders discussing a vision for the future. One of these leaders was Chief Reggie Neposh. We do have a lot of social issues that we have to deal with in the community. And like some of these young people are uh, dealing with drugs, alcohol, uh, broken marriages. And these are things that we, we've experienced. It was during this conversation with Chief Reggie that Kenny's vision for troubled young people became evident. Let's gather the youth, let's take them away from the community into a land-based uh, setting. We would try and just build on the best of the past, which is caribou hunting, moose hunting, uh, those kind of experiences. One of our most respected Aboriginal leaders, a hero of mine, Kenny Blacksmith, is here. I'm going to mention to Kenny, founder and executive director of Gathering Nations International. Mm. I am so excited about what you mm. have been able to do. You, you've shared your heart about this before, mm. and, and now it's a reality. There have been many True. more treks into the bush with young people. Yeah. You know, it's the way of our people, they have taught us so much. You know, their life on the land, fishing, hunting, trapping, the stories. You know, you get to a point where you hear too much negativity, the problems, the darkness, and you have to build on the light, the hope, the future, and what better way to do that than to take the best of the best, build on that, and let the youth and the young people capture that, be captivated by that so that they can run with a fresh vision. Indeed, if people have seen the documentary, oh and I hope everyone will, mm. they'll hear singer-songwriter Steve Bell make uh, this comment. He talks about recovery of the psyche of Aboriginal people and taking a stand against the story they've inherited. Mm. You're writing a new story. I think we're, we are no, we need to write one, and of course the time is to, we're living in the right time and season for that. And so I'm excited to be able to walk in the footsteps of late Elijah Harper and late Chief Billy Diamond and many others to Wonderful. be able to keep going. Indeed. <laughs> and of course uh, we meet uh, uh, Chief Reggie Neposh in this uh, documentary. And you know, here's a, a man who, yeah came through the death of his mother through a car accident. Mm -hmm. uh, he w got into alcohol. He was the leader of a gang. Today, he's the leader of his people. Yeah. And he, he made this statement that all of my elders believed in me and yeah. that encouraged me. That's right. And as I look at you sitting with these young people in, mm -hmm. in what's called a, a appreciative inquiry, mm -hmm. sitting, talking about issues, yeah. about the heart, I see them having someone mm -hmm. who will 
listen to them and affirm them. That's right. Well, you know, the Word of God tells us very clearly in Philippians 4, verse 8, you know, to look on the best, what is lovely, what is excellent, praiseworthy. Pure, noble. Yeah, we need to just build on that. And that's what the appreciative inquiry is about. It's about looking for that which works, that which excites people, that which gives a, the right story. And, you know, just people are motivated by the goodness and the strengths and the beauty of who we are in our life, the and stories. you and these young people are heard yeah. speaking in your native tongue. Yes, we do. We, we always speak Cree, especially when we're out there. It's just... Cree is such a beautiful language. It just is so descriptive. It is, it's unlike uh, any other. I mean, English is English, but uh, when I speak my language, it's, you know, it's double beauty in terms of being des describing uh, the beauty of things ar around us. I remember the last time you were here, you were talking about getting up very early, you and your wife, to have quiet time with the Lord, and it was so mm -hmm. clearly tied to nature around you. You, yeah. you, you talked about the beauty of the early sun mm -hmm. coming through a spider's web yeah. and how beautiful that was. This is some of the, True. the beauty you want to take these young people to. We want them to see and, you know, and feel the goodness of who God is to us and that you know, there is hope, there is life. It isn't just about problems and inactivity and, and, and all those things. There is much more. Well, it's an art piece. It's a heart piece. It is a treasure. Home and native land. One of the wonderful documentaries Crossroads is offering in a package of eight. You will gain a richer appreciation of our nation's history and its history makers and perhaps like me, you won't be able to talk about it for about a day or two after you see it because it is so moving. Kenny, God bless you for all you're doing. Thank you. Thank you for having me here.